Hello everyone, my name is Jim. I just want to introduce myself a little bit and give you a little history on my um, computer background. I originally got started building computers basically out of necessity and what happened was I um, worked for a a large art um, production company um, as their art manager primarily using Macintosh and had never really opened the case of the computers. I was actually a little bit afraid to open the case and um, through the through the process of a layoff and a couple other things that were unforeseen I began looking for a computer out of you know sheer necessity really and it was um, in the process of looking for a computer I went to price a couple of Macs and other high-end um, PCs in order to continue doing my graphic design work and continue you know bidding on some of the jobs that I had coming in and found out that just by pricing the computers it just was a little bit overwhelming in order for me to get what I needed to just be able to continue doing the jobs and stuff it was going to cost me more than a small car and um, no exaggeration there it really was expensive and that was not including software and other you know, um, peripherals and things that I would need for continuing to do the job. So, out of sheer necessity, I really began researching how I could get a system or whatever. And um, someone blessed me with a computer, but unfortunately, it, it you know it was a low-end computer. I really wasn't able to run Photoshop and some of the other programs that I needed. The computer, oftentimes, I'd start it up, I wouldn't know if it started or if it had frozen. And so it was a little frustrating. So out of that frustration and desperation, I took on the challenge of, well, I'm just going to build a computer myself with no computer experience, no you know background. Again, like I told you before, I had never even opened a case on a computer. I could you know operate some of the design programs, but as far as on the technical side of the inner workings of a computer, that was at that point beyond me. And that was about eight years ago, maybe a little more than eight years ago. And so I went, I set out and bought a book, a video from one of the local um, technology stores here or electronic stores and read the book cover to cover and got enough information from the book to get, you know, at that time a basic understanding of how the computers worked. And I took that and put together a parts list and went to another local um, store that was in business at the time that sold computer parts. Went in, laid my list on the table, and told them this is what I need. They gave me a box full of parts. Went home that evening, and about nine o'clock, sat down, began putting together my very first computer. And at that time, again, I had no background other than the book, the video that I purchased. I actually returned the video because I had gathered enough information from the book to at least get me started. first video game at that time that I purchased was um, a PC game called Halo and in the process of playing Halo as well as doing some of the other graphic work I ran into a few challenges with the computer it would get into some of the heavy graphic parts um, of the game or real heavy gaming and it would the computer itself would slow down and start to shutter so that became a little frustrating and I later start doing some research and finding out more about PC gaming and reading a little bit more and really um, spurred me to how can I get the most out of the computer and I started um, taking it to the extremes and found out that my video card was one of the hindrance and that was the main reason that I was getting a lot of the shuttering so I took the video card and modified it so I could push it a little bit, learned about overclocking, which allowed me to push my processor a little bit faster, um, clock speeds and stuff that it really um, was set out to do, or go into an area of the, the processor that you know was beyond the, the factory specs. But with that, it created some heat issues, which can create some instability in your system or actually cause it to shut down. And so I then started researching ways to try to figure out how I could cool the system during this overclocking process and stumbled across um, some early developments of 
water cooling and very Frankenstein kind of, you know, fish uh, water pumps and hoses from Home Depot and other places to create a, a real rudimentary water cooling system, but it was attached to the processor and it worked. And again, I continued pushing and learning more um, things that I could do to push a computer to the next level and get those extreme um, speeds and stuff like that. And you know, other games again, you know, tax my system a little bit more than what I initially thought it was, and it kind of reached its limitations. Some of those games at that time that I was playing were um, games like Far Cry, uh, Fear, Need for Speed Underground, and a lot of these games were, you know, really um, graphically intensive, processor intensive. They they really push your system to the you know to the extreme more than what you'd get out of just operating your Windows and searching the internet and you know just basic browsing that which is you know what a lot of people actually use their systems for. But I, I wanted to take it to the next level and you know get more out of it so I get the most out of my games and get the fastest frame rates. And in a lot of the games games like Fear um, or Far Cry they allowed me to actually play online with other players. And in the process of playing with those other players, you know, you, you, like myself and many other people, you you want to have the best system and have it running at the best speed, so you you have that little bit of an edge over the other players that you're playing against, so you get that extra speed, or maybe you can get one more shot <laughs> over another person. And so I again start putting some more research in how to get you know the next system and continue just upgrading and uh, researching and learning as much as I could. At that time there were um, a few shows that were very helpful out at the time and I really subscribed to them on a regular basis. They offered tech support and um, ideas and stuff but I, I realized through the process that I, I wanted to take what I had learned and be able to share that with, with other people. One of the things I'd you know, like to share with you is again I'm, I'm a big time gamer and um, avid PC user now if it's become a, a true love and with that love I want to share whatever I've learned or knowledge with you to help you use your computer for more than just surfing the internet you can get a full-on multimedia system you can take advantage of all of that your computer has in it in addition to that teaching you how to protect your investment many of you have probably spent money or planning on spending a lot of money on your computers and unfortunately we live in a world where there are malicious people and they create scripts and programs and hacks, malware, viruses basically targeted not so much at you but Microsoft or other big manufacturers and their goal is to hack into your computer so they can make a name for themselves and unfortunately you're kind of caught in the crosshairs and you become a victim of that by not really understanding or learning how to protect your investment and I'd like to share some of those things on protecting your investment and things like that. In addition to that, share you know gaming reviews, review new products that are coming out and just again share information as much as I can with you to get the most out of your computer. My current system again I use it for full on multimedia, it has Blu-ray, high def recording, um, I have it connected to um, my cable um, television um, provider there so I can watch um, high def TV, Blu-ray, high HD movies, um, dual recordings, and as well as you know my gaming games such as uh, my current game that I play most of the time is Call of Duty 4. In addition to that I just recently got Fallout 3 which is pretty taxing for most systems probably wouldn't run on your basic com off-the-shelf computer. So what I'd like to do is have you come back, take a look at you know future videos. I'll be sharing information on modding, um, upgrades, multimedia systems, game reviews, new technology coming out for your PC, as well as other software. So I'd like to thank you for spending this time with me. Again, my name is Jim. You can check out my website. It's um, PCsbyDesign.com. Come back and visit.